people, this coming Sunday is Father's Day. Perhaps this is a great time for us to reflect on the legacy our fathers have, have given to us and maybe what will be our legacy as well. Someone once wrote, a legacy is not leaving something for people, but it's something that we live, we leave in people. And according to research, 56% of children whose relationship with their dad is somewhat warm and close will also share the degree of religious commitment and practice of the faith. However, if the relationship is weak, the child is perhaps 20% less likely to father, follow his father's faith. And only 2% of kids whose father don't practice will end up practicing the faith. Perhaps the greatest gift that a father can give to his children is to love and cherish their mother. A father's role is to provide and protect, lead and model service and faith. Every father shapes the soul of the next generation with his love, his self-mastery, his courage, and his heroic generosity of his time with his sons and his daughters. One of my greatest memories of my dad was his deep and quiet faith, never missing mass, praying daily, and perhaps the greatest memory was his kneeling in a wheat field with a severe thunderstorm approaching asking the Lord to protect the harvest for that year. I've come to know that faith is not only taught, it's something that's caught. Perhaps as we listen to the scriptures, we might have a clearer sense of what the Lord wants us to be mindful of on this Father's Day. It's from a reading from the book of Sirach. God sets a father over his children. Whoever honors his father atones for sins and preserves himself from them. And when he prays, he is heard. Whoever reveres his father will live a long life. He who, he who obeys his father brings comfort to his mother. My children, take care of your father when he is old. Grieve him not as long as he lives. Even if his mind fails, be considerate of him. Revile him not all the days of his life. For kindness to a father will not be forgotten. Firmly planted again against the debt of your sins. A house raised in justice to you. So my brothers and sisters, we pray for you and we pray for all fathers this, this coming Sunday. We ask that you might continue to remember us and we thank you for your generosity to us. God bless you.